Hickman, and I am the founder of Burroughs Sports Cable Park. I am seeking a $1.1 million investment, $500,000 in the form of a loan, and $600,000 in the form of equity for 40% of my company. Burroughs Boards Cable Park will be an extension of my current company, Burroughs Boards, a debt-free stand pipe workshop. Let's take a closer look at what cable wakeboarding is. Cable wakeboarding is the newest trend in water sports. Six to eight carriers rotate along a six tower cable system, pulling riders and enabling them to hit their favorite ramps and ramps. The carrier picks up the rope from the starting dock so a new rider can begin their ride. Cable wakeboarding offers a new wakeboarding experience that's inexpensive and easy to learn. Whether you're a professional rider wanting to master new tricks or a beginner who's looking for a new hobby, cable wakeboarding has the capability to satisfy your needs. Now this is what our potential site will look like. We will have a 10 acre cable lake, which will be the focus of our business, but we also have other activities. We will have three volleyball courts so customers can enjoy an alternate activity while watching others ride or while taking a break from riding themselves. And will also allow us to have volleyball leagues and tournaments. We will have a 1.5 acre stand-up paddleboard lake so customers can try boards before they purchase them and we can have stand-up paddleboard classes and competitions. Cable wakeboarding is very popular over in Europe. There are over 60 cable parks in Germany alone. However, it is still a relatively new sport in the United States, but we are growing at a 10% annual rate. Charlotte has a large and growing population within our target market. So this presents an opportunity to open a cable park in the Charlotte area. I will be the president of Bros Boards Cable Park. I've been on the water since I was three months old. I've participated in every water sport I can think of, and I have taught my friends many water sports as well. I've been a cable park customer for over four years, so I know how these customers think and feel. I've been the president of Bros Boards for over two years, so I know I've gained knowledge in the water sports industry and I've created a network of contacts and potential suppliers. My business plan and projections have been reviewed by and verified by industry experts, including Larry Maddock, the executive director of the Water Sports Industry Association. We will buy our cable system from Sessitec who is a part of the Wave Park Project, who helps companies form cable parks in the United States. They will help us install the system, train our employees, and offer operational support. Our park will be sponsored by Local Force. Local Force is a leader in the wakeboard manufacturing, and they sponsor most of the cable parks in the United States. They have a great promotional program that help bring new customers to our park. My father, Scott Dickman, will also be on our board of advisors. He has run his own graphic design company for over 30 years and most of his clients have been in the water sports and tourism industries. Bowling Green State University will also be a, a, owner of the, a part owner of Pro Sports Cable Park, so their resources will be at my disposal. This is a, five, a pro forma income statement for year five. As you can see, our revenues will reach almost $750,000 and our EBITDA will reach over $400,000. My evaluation is four times of uh, a five-year EBITDA, and the uh, company in our industry, similar to mine, would average three to five times EBITDA to trade their company. I need $1,375,000 to fund this project for the items listed on the screen. I have talked to banks and verified that I'll be able to obtain a $275,000 loan to help pay for land and building, building construction. I'm asking for a $1.1 million investment $500,000 of investment will be in the form of a 10-year, 10% loan, which I'll begin payment upon the opening of our park. The remaining $600,000 will be in the form of equity for 40% ownership in the business. Who wants to make a deal? <laughs> All right, what's the time, Rad? Four minutes. All right, so just start it over at two and a half. Let me start it over? Yeah, oh. just start it over and then stop at two and a half. All right. Charlotte, North Carolina. I've done, talked to customers in the area, and they, there are three lakes around the area, and a huge wakeboarding population, and they said they've been waiting for a cable park to get there yet. How is VGSU going to be a part owner? Through the hatching program, VGSU takes 7% of the company through the resources that they provide. So if I you know, need help in a, with the marketing problem or finance, I can consult with professors and I'll have their resources available. Oh, that's awesome. yeah. um, do you expect to keep the park open for winter? Um, right now we're looking at a 10-month 
uh, operating season. Um, this is based on parks, one in North Carolina and then parks in Texas. Um, the one in North Carolina is open year round, but they're kind of like, for the first three months of the year, they're kind of like playing it by year based on the weather. Now, based on location, would you be in danger of hurricanes? Um, as far as like direct danger of like the winds of the hurricanes, we want to be you know directly hit by them. But the after effects and the winds coming through, we would have to prepare for that. Obviously, I mean we get winds from that in Ohio, so it's not going to be too much of a danger. How close is the other cable park in North Carolina to you? Uh, it's about three hours away. And for a cable park, that's not really direct competition. Um, so I'm assuming you already have like a location plan that would be like purchased, or are you still looking? Because I'm assuming this takes a lot of land. I know how much land I need to take in the general area I'm looking at. Um, the dean's background is in real estate, and he has agreed to help me find land once I get What are your um, like operational costs as far as, um, I know that you said that it's a system, so who do, you have to, who do you have to pay and like what do you have to pay after you get it set up? Well, I mean, most of my costs, this is a very capital intensive company, so I, the system's gonna cost me $300,000. And then, so a lot of the equipment, I'm gonna have depreciation costs, but um, as far as operating costs, I'm gonna have personnel and utilities for running the cable system and as far as electric goes the cable system only costs twelve dollars a day to run. So it is there's not much operating costs, it's just mostly capital expenditures. Okay, that's two that's two thirty. Okay. Any other feedback or anything?